Hello, beautiful. We're gonna do some tarot. This new moon is super watery. Pisces energy as well. I'm just like, man, the um, downloads that I'm getting, this constant visions into other dimensions, it's honestly a bit hard to like focus and be human when you have this much going on. But, well, not but, that's exactly why I wanna get this message out. Judgment, bleh, judgment just came out with the two of um, cups. Yeah, see, I'm like tongue-tied and the king of cups, the knight of pentacles. Yeah, I'm like dizzy, tongue-tied. This energy is, whew, wow, a lot. Judgment came out in the reverse. Um, I actually don't feel like that's supposed to be in reverse. I feel like some of you just aren't expecting this. Some of you just don't know, yeah. The um, It doesn't matter if this is in reverse either because it's really the same message. Some of you just don't believe in the kind of drastic shifts that are about to happen because you feel like what's been handed to you is more of the same. This, this cup, this divine cup being handed to you, you're just crossing your arms. You're just kind of like, I don't want it. But Spirit's saying, it's coming in anyway and you'll believe it when you see it a lot of you have some love coming in all right i feel like honestly i don't really have words today which is very unusual anyone who watches my content knows that one of the things i do best is just kind of flow talk i just open my mouth and words come out but today there's something um I'm just a little bit speechless about the energy, okay? King of Pentacles. You guys have a major level up, all right? Major level up. Oh, and I forgot to take the Page of Pentacles off the bottom, but exactly, you went from the page to the king. That's a big level up, all right? And you've got love coming in. Um, you're, you're gonna be busy, booked and busy. Page of Wands, you've got a lot of offers coming in. Ten of Cups, okay? This is your happily ever after. Ace of Pentacles, I don't, I, what, what? You have things that are about, they started small and they got to here. All the way to the king, from the Ace to the king. Your Cups, this Two of Cups, this kind of humble beginning here is gonna turn into your happily ever after. This is just emotional fulfillment. It doesn't necessarily have to do just with, with um love romantic love it could do with you know just fe finally feeling like you have community finally feeling like you have support which i know for a lot of us you know we haven't felt that way and the sun is coming out so many birds of prey yesterday i couldn't even count a lot of you guys might be getting signs in the sky like me birds animals dreams pay attention if you think you're getting if you're getting visions of, of things in your future or you're hearing things depending on how your guides speak to you believe it don't just write it off and push it away and say that's not that can't be real it is real eight of wands interesting this was on the um bottom of the deck when i started shuffling <clears throat> i also saw that when we were shuffling <clears throat> excuse me you've got you've got offers coming in knight of cups this happened yesterday it was like knight page knight page you've had you've had three already and just fast movement lots of energy um i just heard like some might find it a little chaotic because you're going from a period of rest um to a period of like hardcore activity page of wands on the top and this was in reverse so i also feel like some of you have been blocking your creativity but once you open that door a lot of you already have but once you open that door fully your life is about to change in a very drastic way that i think is gonna it's gonna overwhelm some of you and a lot of you aren't going to believe it when it happens. But I really need you to start believing in how different this era is, regardless of who you are and what you're doing and what you've done. Your life is not going to be the same as it was last year or five years ago or 20 years ago. Like nothing is going to be the same. Wow. Make sure to cleanse your energy too, I'm hearing. With all this kind of newness coming in um and also leaving a lot of stuff in the past i don't know if i'm going to take all these but the magicians on the top with the nine of cups wow and the three of swords in reverse 
with the Queen of Pentacles. These are all for us, the Hierophant, the Knight of Swords, and the Page of Swords. I just feel it intuitively when I look at cards and they either speak to me or they don't. The Magician, you are a lot more powerful than you realize, okay? And also this is spirit working behind the scenes for you. You're working in tandem. When we create our own reality, we don't do it alone. We do it with God, we do it with, you know, whatever you believe in, we can put a different name on it. It doesn't change the essence, the divine essence of it, okay? But you're, you're, you and spirit are working together to make your dreams come true. This is the wish fulfillment card, the nine of cups. After a period of heartbreak, three of swords in reverse. Um, just, you know, not feeling, just having your fucking ass handed to you. A very weird and hilarious way to put it. It's an American phrase. <laughs> it just means bad things like the universe kicking your ass, basically. Queen of Pentacles. But you're leveling up. Again, counterparts too. You might have love coming in. But either way, you're leveling up. Yeah, you got some love coming in. Dude, you're bossing up. Your finances are about to take off, okay? The Hierophant in reverse with the Knight of Swords. Some of you guys don't believe in how quickly this is moving. The Knight of Swords is one of the fastest moving knights. You have so many different knights and pages. People are coming toward you. Opportunities are coming toward you. But you have to let them in. You've got to let God in with the Hierophant. You've got to trust your intuition. Again, you're getting these downloads, I'm being told. A lot of you are getting these downloads. Page of Swords. And, oh, wait. You got the page and the knight. Interesting. Progression. Fast movement. Opportunities. New beginnings. Page of Wands. Um, knight of Cups. Seriously. You've got a lot of Page of Wands again. And then we saw one on the bottom of the deck. Look at all these new opportunities. Look at all this, you know. Gosh, 654 on my timer. I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm a little speechless right now. If you guys could feel the energy that I feel also while delivering this reading, you would understand some of this Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. The Page of Pentacles, another page. Um, you would understand why I keep saying that. But, wow. Yeah. I don't feel entirely human. You know what I mean? I feel ethereal. I just feel kind of like I'm floating away with all this energy. So it's important to ground today. The magician came out again with the chariot and the three of cups. Okay, I'll take it. Dude, those of you who watch my channel, we don't get the magician very often. We got it twice today. You're magical. And it's a new moon, y'all. Dude, thank you, spirit. It's a new moon. Get to dreaming. If you're gonna dream about what you want in your future, today's the day because it's a new moon. And if it's not today, it's tomorrow, but whatever, we're in new moon energy, which is all about planting seeds, okay? Spend time dreaming, spend time visualizing what you want to happen, not what you don't want, because you're calling it in. Whatever you're focusing your energy in is what you're calling in. The chariot, um, the chariot, let me turn this down, is God energy coming in, intervening, um, fast forward movement, just big dynamic shifts in your life, um, balance, success, victory. With the Three of Cups, this is all about reunions. Again, more cup energy, so much cup energy. Um, reunions, celebrations, you know, just, and you've got a bunch of raccoons in this reading as well. So maybe raccoons mean something to you. Um, they're night creatures. So maybe you're a night creature. I'm not, personally. I go to bed by like 10 or 11, I'm such a grandma. But, um, and no offense to grandmas. There could be some grandmas on here that go to bed way later than me. <laughs> but I've been this way since I was young. I don't know. I've always been this way. I think it's because I'm such a dreamer. I really enjoy my time in the dream world. And um, I like to get to it. Anyway, enough with the jab. The jab. See, I can't talk today. Enough with the chatting. This energy is fucking great, dude. Tell me what you're experiencing. I'm curious now. Feel free to comment what you're going through personally. The Page of Pentacles. Come on, we didn't even start. The Three of Pentacles. Um, I'm telling you, you've got new beginnings. You thought you were starting with this humble, you know, see this one pentacle? It's like, that's what you started with. But you are the King of Pentacles. You're the Queen of Pentacles now. You got the Ace of Pentacles. You have so much pentacle energy. Like your finances are about, yeah, and the Three of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles again. The Queen of Cups. Okay, I can't deal. 
You got the counterparts now, queen and king. Six of pentacles underneath that. The reason why I'm freaking out is because I'm almost too overwhelmed to like talk about what this reading is saying to me. And usually I like to teach while I read, but I'm just having such a hard time keeping up myself with this energy that's coming with these cards that it's hard to tell you why this means what it means. I'm just like, ah! you got the king and the queen of cups, counterpart energy, balance, level up. You got the king and queen of fucking pentacles, abundance, security. You got the magician twice. You are so much more powerful than you realize. I really need you to know that. Okay. I got these cute little cards, this Oracle deck at a thrift store um, in the town that I'm staying. It's actually called Phoenix, Oregon. Rising from the ashes, Oregon. Um, ocean of eternal love, healing, creativity, and fertility. So... You are being encouraged to dive into your emotions. It's a great timing because it is Pisces energy, like I said, and a new moon. 11-11 on my timer. Ocean of eternal love. You have a lot of divine wisdom inside of you, inside of your spiritual gifts. And your creativity, your healing powers, um, all of it comes through that, you know, sacred sexuality, that sacred creativity, that sacred expression. Um, and I said the sacred... The, <laughs> the sacred sexuality as well because this has fertility on it and um we always need to remember you know life cycles and and sexuality really is about just the life force within us and creating new life it has nothing to do with shame or guilt or sin in my opinion as long as we treat it as sacred we treat our bodies as temples we treat our sexuality the same you know we don't just let anyone share in our divine essence we we treat ourselves sacred but dive into your emotions dive into your um creativity dive into your sacred sexuality in whatever way that means to you even if you're celibate there are ways to honor your sexuality without being sexual you know like i said it's it's life force energy it's creation there's nothing wrong or dirty or bad about it unless we degrade it unless we degrade ourselves thank you spirit all right attachment letting go restriction fear Look at this woman dancing and just free and flowing. Um, spirit wants you to just flow with life, make love with life. Like just honor your divine essence and all of the beauty that comes out of you, your unique blueprint that no one else can replicate. You're supposed to express yourself, all right? With the ocean of eternal love and attachment. And the, the attachment word is less what I'm listening to, letting go restriction and fear. You're letting go of that restriction and fear. It's the image that's drawing me more than anything. Look at how free she is, okay? You have healing in your creativity and there's healing in your sacred sexuality too. And a lot of you need to heal within surrounding your sexuality. You know, we in a very imbalanced society regarding our sexuality, it would be almost impossible for us to come out being full, you know, fully free in that area. A lot of people have wounding, okay? Evolution, earth changes, climate changes, transformation. New earth, you know, everything is changing. This whole dynamic, this whole world, this whole um, paradigm is transforming right now before our eyes. That's why I feel so watery. I can feel it. I'm so tapped in, right, to the earth, to the collective, to God, that I can feel these transformations happening on a subconscious and conscious level. And it's, it's a lot. Anyone who feels like they're tapped into that, that's why you need to express yourself, express it all out, share it with the world. You know, people need to know they're not going crazy. All right. I know a lot of you find me and you feel like, oh my gosh, finally someone that's like meaningful to you, you know, and it would have been meaningful to me. And had I come across this kind of content when I was feeling crazy, you have to share what you're going through. Otherwise people are going to feel alone. They're going to feel like they're the only ones, but they're not. So many of us are experiencing things that we never believed in before. A lot of people who were atheists, who um, just thought they knew all the answers or who just, just didn't believe in something higher are being shown that it's undeniable. Diana, focused intention. Yes. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. Amen. Amen. All right. Some of you guys are going through some really hard stuff. 
as I've had some clients recently, so I know some of you guys are going through some hard stuff. The most, the best thing you can do right now is find your determination, your inner courage. You know, it's your determination that is going to determine whether you make it through or not. And that's just, that's just how it goes. If you decide that there's nothing that is going to stop you, okay, you just give yourself permission, unwavering permission to just go for it, no matter what. That's what I'm doing. God is with us when we make decisions like that. When we commit, and it's less of this wishy-washy, you know, one foot in, one foot out, I'm in, I'm out. Like, I don't know. I'm all for it when it's working out. And then the minute an obstacle comes, I'm like out. Spirit is testing us, our strength and determination. If we can't be determined and move forward in faith that what we're doing matters, that what we're being guided toward matters, we're not going to make it, you know? It's like we have to be driven by that inner fire. Otherwise, we're not going to make it. And I know a huge part of my job is to give you some of that fire because I was born with almost a little too much, just enough. But I needed all of it. I needed all of it to get through my crazy life. I really did. And I need it now to guide you guys and to guide myself to this new earth, to guide us all, right? And I'm not the only one guiding, but I'm guiding a certain collective of people that need that strength, that unwavering determination. They need it modeled right? So that they can see what is attainable. We have to believe in ourselves and our mission. If we do something half-heartedly, that's how it's going to look. That's how it's going to feel. Do you know what I mean? It's going to feel half-assed. People aren't going to really buy into it because you didn't really buy into it. Whatever it is. Quiet time. Siege, I think it's pronounced. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. Yes especially if you're having trouble accessing this unwavering determination and strength, go inward, you know, heal. I was going to say meditate, but go inward and heal. Yeah. Look at the parts of you that are unwilling to move forward. I just saw like a petulant child, like crossing his arms, just like, no, go and visit that version of you. If that's what's happening and ask what that version of you needs in order to feel safe moving forward. Because oftentimes it's something that we can do and it's not that hard. We just have to start communicating with ourselves. And we, we have to start being really intentional, as, as this card said, and um, asking the right questions. You know, so many of us are just busy um, pushing down our emotions, our connection to our body and to spirit, because we're afraid and we don't understand it. And so we feel like it's bad or wrong. But really, every little detail is so important. And when you really start to meditate and think and see from a higher mind, you are going to notice the little details. I think that's what makes me the most different now is I'm so observant. I didn't used to be that observant. And now I'm just, I observe things that most people wouldn't even see, but it's because I've gotten really quiet in my life after being really loud in the opposite way. I've gotten really quiet and intentional, very intentional and very disciplined. And it's changed my life. Absolutely. That quiet time, that healing, that intention, that's all, you, those were like three ingredients that will change your life right there. All right, so I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments what you're going through right now. Um, and if you need a private reading or you wanna work with me, my website is sacredmuseproject.com. You're also welcome to support my content. I do this full time um, for you beautiful babies so that we can get to this new earth together, all in one piece, all right? In the meantime, I'm sending so much love and I'll see you soon.